Hello, you're watching Armstrong Mill, and this is a video tutorial on applying rust effects to various metal objects throughout your layout. Today, I'm using this old water tower. I got it with my first ever model railway, and it's been on the layout for a long time. Um, so, rust effects. I am going to be using these. Wait, these model mates rust effects uh, paints. Now, I got this all the way back. At the National Festival of Railway Modeling in 2012. That's how long ago it was. But these are very good. They go on pretty much clear, and when they're dry, makes it all look rusty. I used the rust paints on this loco here. It's not focusing, but I think you guys have all seen this before. It actually feels all rusty as well. It's almost like actual rust on the loop. I hope it's not, but very good. Okay, so I'm going to apply it to the water tower. I need the paint. I'm going to. There we go. That's all good. And take a paintbrush. Got one here. So, open it up. Open it up. Try not to get rusty fingers. And that is the stuff that you're looking at here. You can see it's got all rusty around the edge when it's dry, but that's the stuff. Now you don't want too much of it at a time. So I recommend that you fold this out here and then you can get the paint from this little from where it collects on the lid before actually um Diving into the bottle and getting the paint out there. So I get my paintbrush. And there we go. Just add the slight strokes with the brush um, along the train, along the um, water tower. So do it. I'll do it horizontal, and I'll do it slightly vertically. There we go. It's also very good when the paint runs out, so it's much lighter. Let me zoom in for you guys. Look at this. Uh, no, that's, that's pretty good. Okay, so it's drying already, as you can see, and it's pretty rusty there. It's rustier on there than it actually appears. Must be on the camera. But, you know, on the other side, it's going to be difficult, I can tell. As you can see, I'm not the best. And as it dries, use it to just sort of push the other paint around evenly. So now completely covered the top of it pretty much. There. And uh, you will see the top of the water tower going rusty. Uh, okay. So that is very rusty at the top. Okay. So you've got to think about where there would be rust. Which I have not done very well. Yeah, I'll sort of spread it all out. Put a little bit on the uh, on here. There we go. And just remember to leave some areas clear of the. Um, so then it's not completely rusty, looking like it belongs in a scrapyard. But it's presentable. Guess I'm not being very careful here, but I recommend that you guys um, make sure. Of course, you haven't got too much on your brush, but make sure that it's all dry. It's very quick drying. This is dry at the top here. Make sure that it's all dry before you actually 
turn it round if you're with your um, wards towers like mine here. Get a little bit at the side. Don't have to be too heavy. The brush does not need to be completely covered. I've got that there. That's all right. I'm gonna let that dry. I have it for a little bit. So. Oh, that's what the other side's looking like. It's looking really cool. Well, I really like that. And around there. Let's turn around. You see it's drying already. I am going to try and get to that bit on the other side, the bottom of this area at the back. Apologise for the poor view, but. There we go, so it's pretty much rusty all around that on the other side. And then some, I think just some little patches of uh, rust down here. And just patching over the areas that I have missed before. But, you know, can't have it too rusty. I think I might have done it a bit too rusty, but... You know, it's nice, it's more of a rustic, a uh, junkyardy feel to it. Alright, that was a bit long winded. This video has just been one shot for a whole six minutes, but, you know, it's looking much better and it's just a little simple way you can make your layout look more realistic. This will work on other things, I imagine this will work on the tracks if you're very careful. It will definitely work on locos and maybe other metal bits. For example, it will probably work just a set of wheels we have lying around it would probably work well on these two it's got a yellow but it'll probably work well on these two so you know any other metal things you have for example um those matchsticks once you pay them who knows we could put a little bit of rust on them or the netting to make it look rusty anyway there you have it there's my water tower, you see those little bits of rust coming through there as well as on this side okay so there we have it, that was a uh, very short and simple maybe not the best I could have done but I hope you enjoyed it and I hope this has taught you something thank you very much for watching you've been watching Elsa Mill see you next time